In this lesson, you will learn how to complete a table of solutions to a linear equation in two variables. Linear equations in two variables have infinitely many solutions. For every value substituted for x, there is a corresponding value for y. This pair of values is represented as an ordered pair x, y. A table of solutions lists these pairs of x and y values that satisfy the equation. To complete the table, first, substitute the given value for the corresponding variable in the equation. Then, solve for the other variable. Finally, fill in the value you obtain in the table. Let's see how this works with our examples. Here, the value of x is given as 0. So substitute 0 for x in the equation and solve for y. 2 times 0 is 0. Then, divide both sides by negative 3. These cancel out, and 6 divided by negative 3 equals negative 2. Now, fill in negative 2 for y in the table. So, the ordered pair 0, negative 2 is a solution to the equation. Next, the value of y is given as 0. So, substitute 0 for y and solve for x. 3 times 0 is 0. Then divide both sides by 2. These cancel out, and 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Fill in 3 for x in the table. So, the ordered pair 3, 0 is another solution to the equation. Next, the value of x is given as 1. So, substitute 1 for x and solve for y. 2 times 1 is 2. Subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. These cancel out, and 6 minus 2 equals 4. Then, if we divide both sides by negative 3, we find that y equals negative 4 thirds. Fill in negative 4 thirds for y in the table. So, the ordered pair 1 comma negative 4 thirds is another solution to the equation. Now the table is complete, but these are just a few solutions to the equation. Remember, a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions. Any value of x or y gives a corresponding value for the other variable, resulting in a solution pair x comma y. Now it's your turn. Please pause the video and complete the table for the equation y equals 3 halves x minus 7. Here, the value of x is given as negative 2. So, substitute negative 2 for x and solve for y. 3 halves times negative 2 is negative 3 because 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 and negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 minus 7 equals negative 10, right? Fill in negative 10 for y in the table. So, the ordered pair negative 2 comma negative 10 is a solution to the equation. Next, the value of x is given as 0. So, substituting 0 for x, you find that y equals negative 7. So, the ordered pair 0 comma negative 7 is another solution to the equation. Next, the value of x is given as 6. So, substituting 6 for x, you find that y equals 2. So, the ordered pair 6, 2 is another solution to the equation. And that's how you complete a table of solutions to a linear equation in two variables. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.